Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Creative Space, a podcast where we explore, learn, and grow in creativity together. I'm your host, Jennifer Logue, and today we're going to talk about finding clarity on your next step. Whether you're navigating a career change, a personal transition, or you're feeling stuck in a creative project, you are most definitely not alone. Today, we're going to explore how we can find clarity on our next step when we have absolutely no clue what that next step is. And I want to start by being open with all of you. When I started this podcast, the sole mission was to demystify creativity and make it accessible to everyone. And that mission is still the same, but it's become even more personal for me. Our creative projects possess this incredible power to change us in the process. And I've learned so much about myself with every episode, with every interview of Creative Space. And I soon discovered that I missed music. So then around this time last year, if you've been listening to the podcast, I announced that I was working with a vocal coach again to build my voice back after nearly a decade of not making music. And this has brought me so much joy. And now my mornings start with 20 minutes of singing every day. Uh, Then when the new year started, I made my way back to playing piano every day as well, just carving out 20 minutes a day in the evening, nothing, nothing big, but making this creative space for myself and sticking with it has been an achievement in itself. But Now that it's part of my life, my brain starts thinking, okay, cool, what's next? Am I going to work towards a new album? Do I want to find a band to join? And I keep asking this question to myself, to God, to the universe, and the answer just isn't clear yet. And I share this with you because I think it's something all of us go through as humans. There's this waiting period Sometimes we're in a season of questions and we want to be in a season of answers. What I used to do in these waiting seasons was try to force things to happen, but I've since adopted a different approach. Rather than force a direction, I'm savoring the joy of not knowing just yet, not having a specific tangible goal that I'm aiming for outside of my daily music routine. Now, I'm not saying to be completely aimless. Something important to remember is that we only find clarity through taking action. This isn't something we can think our way through. So let's be clear on that. Action is important, but the actions we take can be small, like showing up at the page every day or piano or easel. These are small steps but small steps taken every day can prepare us for an opportunity down the road, even when we don't know what that opportunity is or when it will come. Now, when I know I want to do something, I do it. Like with this podcast, the idea wouldn't leave me alone for years. And then I finally took action on it in 2022. That was the right time. But right now, I don't have clarity on what's next with music for me. I know there's something more that's brewing, but it's just not ready yet. I'm still in this season of questions. So apart from working on your craft in these waiting periods, what can you do? I say embrace an exploration mindset. Open yourself up to the world. And you don't need to travel extensively to do that either. You can start by reaching out to friends and contacts that you haven't spoken with for a while. Have a coffee, have lunch, hear what's going on in their lives, share what's going on in yours. Be honest about your current situation, how you're not sure what's next for you. If you're contemplating a career transition, for example, ask your friend what you're good at and what areas do you shine best. Outside perspective is always helpful. If you're feeling stuck in your art, open up your creative process. Maybe it's time you start collaborating on songs with other people, or maybe you need a change of studio location. If it's nice out, 
Try painting in a park, for example. The key idea here is this. How can I open up my world a little bit more each day? Not having a grand master plan, but just what are some little things I can try differently? It's a great time to experiment with no strings attached. In doing so, you'll let more light in to illuminate what could be a next step for you. Now, how do you know if something is a next step for you? Well, when you get an idea and your heart leaps up and says, oh, I wanna do that, that's how you know. I've always found that it's very clear. But if we stay completely frozen in this waiting period, you may be waiting longer than you need to. So tap into your inner explorer and have some fun while you're waiting. Your eureka moment may be closer than you think. Now I want to hear from you. Have you ever been unsure about your next step? How did you figure it out? You can email me at info at jenniferlogue.com. I would love to hear about your experience. Anyway, that's all I have for this episode of Creative Space. If you love the podcast so far, please leave a review so more people can discover it. My name is Jennifer Logue. Appreciate you taking the time to tune in. Until next time.